What up, it's Cam, and welcome back to another reaction video. It is Wednesday, and we are back reacting to some more Family Guy. I have not done a Family Guy document in a minute. Like, it's been ages since I've reacted to some Family Guy, and there's some, like, new compilations that have come out recently. So, I have started up with, uh, this compilation that claims that it's darker than Cleveland. So, we're going to see about that, which it probably will be, because that Family Guy is just... Whoa. <laughs> so, um, yeah, let's get on with the video and see how dark this compilation is. Probably pretty dark, but let's just have a look see it. Bar up for sale. Oh, please tell me this is some kind of practical joke. Like like the kind I used to play when I was an intern at the hospital. I'm afraid I have some very bad news. Your wife's going to be a vegetable. You'll have to bathe her, feed her, and care for her the rest of her life. Oh, my God. <laughs> no, no, no. I, I'm just kidding. She's dead. Well, that's crap. Wait, 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 wait. Your wife is going to be a vegetable. News. Your wife's going to be a vegetable. You'll have to bathe her, <laughs> feed her, and care for her the rest of her life. Oh, my I know. God. No, no, no. I, I'm just kidding. She's dead. Well, like, I know he's referring the vegetable to people who are paralyzed. Like, I get that. But it's just it's just really fucked up how he basically called them a vegetable. <laughs> oh, they have no filter. Crazy. Without sex ed, kids can wind up sexually confused. Just look at Michael Jackson. The kid in me likes the frosted side, but the grown-up in me likes the kid in me. Hey, you could really make... <laughs> that's class. Wait, that's class. Sex ed, kids can wind up sexually confused. <laughs> Just look at Michael Jackson. The kid in me likes the frosted side. But the grown-up in me likes the kid in me. Hey, you could really make a difference, like I did when I taught money management to those drug addicts. There's a lot of ways for you guys to save money. For example, you're all shooting up. Why not share needles? That's a no-brainer. More money in your wallet, more drugs in your veins. My second piece of advice, have as many kids as you can, because that makes it more likely that one of those kids will grow up and make it big in Hollywood. Then who's paying the bills, eh? Hollywood kid. Class dismissed. Hi, Jimmy. Um, I heard you didn't have a date to the dance, and I was wondering if you'd like to go with me. Oh, uh, I, uh, hang on. I'd love to go, Meg, but I have to go to my little brother's funeral that night. Why don't you stop with the questions, huh? You're, you're ruining everyone's good time. Like Peter did when he used to entertain terminally ill kids. Hi there, how y'all doing? All right, so I'm at the DMV the other day. Long lines, long lines at the DMV. But uh, you'll find out all about that when you get old. <laughs> oh, uh, uh, moving on. So uh, I finally tried Viagra and... Uh, Oh, we got a joker in the audience there. You uh, you got something you want to say there, uh, Mr. Heckler? Dying hurts. Tell me about it. So anyway, who hates flying? Good oh evening. I'm Joyce Kinney. And this is April's Child of the Month, eight-year-old Angus Reed. Angus was born with cerebral palsy, and his only wish is to one day become a famous heart surgeon. All I want to do is help people. Child of the Month, Angus Reed. Good luck with your dream, Angus. We believe in you. What a weird little guy. Thanks, Joyce. How old do they usually live to be, by the way? Well, you never see a gray-haired one. But I'm going to do my best to make her even happier than those kids on Three Wishes with Amy Grant. What's your wish, Billy? Can you cure my cancer? No, but how about if Spider-Man gives you a $50 gift card to Sears? Here, get well. <laughs> That's a great achievement. Just like the first chemotherapy patient to figure out the handkerchief look. Oh, Honey, get in here. What is it? Just, just get in here. What? You... Oh my God! Right? It's like you don't, don't even, even have, have cancer. cancer. I know. Oh my God! <laughs> no, but I still have pretty aggressive cancer. Ladies and gentlemen, Peter the Kid. <laughs> you know what I am back at the ranch? I'm a breeding bull. What? 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 what what's that? You gonna find out. Oh, Where oh you no. going, fatty? Oh, we gonna no. have a party. <laughs> I got a house on the Cape. Maybe you come visit. <laughs> Maybe. Oh Maybe my you call god. Call a few days in advance to give me. I, I don't get it. What? Oh my god, that was amazing. 
I don't remember seeing that in an episode. I don't remember seeing that. He got molested by a bull. <laughs> why, why wouldn't Quagmire oh, like me? Fuck he thinks up. you're annoying. Like people who never shut up about their kids. He, he would have been four today. I still don't understand. How do you drown in an inch of water? <laughs> well, I guess I don't have a new sweater and a haircut. I say, that looks like a young Charlie Chaplin. Oh. Sir, please take this money and use it to pursue your dreams. Danke. Oh. Stewie, I think that was a young Hitler. You just gave money to Hitler. Yeah, but before all the crazy stuff. This is going to be way better than when we had that Victorian girl ghost over for dinner. <laughs> My governess drowned me in a well. <laughs> you are a horrible dinner guest. I'll testify <laughs> against you, just like I did against Michael Jackson. Stewie, did Mr. Jackson behave inappropriately toward you? Well, yes, but the worst part was he never called back. <laughs> <laughs> no, but uh, in all seriousness, yeah, he was actually pretty aggressive. Billy, can you hear? Yes! Amazing! This is amazing! Your mom and I are going to get a divorce. I'm in love with someone else, and I didn't want to say it with the silly hands. Well, hold on, Stewie. I'm not some run-of-the-mill Wall Street scumbag only in this for the profits. Oh. For every dollar I make, one goes to me and one goes to charity. I'm going to rent a Ferrari and cruise the pier. You want in? Well, cancer's not going anywhere. I'm sorry, Billy. You're one dollar short of being able to afford the surgery you need. Yeah! Oh, that... Sweet. I that's those guys. fucked. That is so fucked. Oh, this is why I love Family Guy so much. It's just their jokes are hilarious. I, I mean, whoa. I mean, not in that way. I mean, like... Oh, shut up, Cam. Just be quiet. Shut up. Nothing is off limits. Jeez, Peter, you're more excited than Adrian Peterson at an Arboretum. Daddy, what kind of tree is that? Man, I want to beat you with so many things around here. Worry, Brian, I've got it all under control. You're a big huh. canine star. They should be treating you like Spuds McKenzie. Man, I wonder what he's doing now. Oh. Now, ladies, approach him slowly. He can't really see anymore. I've injected him with the Viagra. Now, I'm going to roll him on his back, <laughs> but you're pretty much going to have to do 100% of the work. Quagmire is dead to me and needs to be dealt with in an appropriate manner. Shame. 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 Shame, shame, shame. Shame on you. What the fuck? Shame, shame, shame. Shame on you. This was serious, but it turned into something fun. Yes, and there's so much to learn. For example, did you know that Jesus didn't really die on the cross? So what was the cause of death? Cocaine and severe trauma to the colon. Yeah, I'm gonna need to see those forms. This is idiotic. You're never gonna find a turkey in there. Oh, I'll find one. I mean, you're looking at the guy who found a fountain of youth. It's very far away from here. Right, you're not thinking clearly. All right, you've got to agree to this surgery. Because right now, you're as useless as Black Widow is to the Avengers. So, what's your superpower? Kicking. Oh, right, because none of us can kick. Hey, which one of you guys can kick? Hulk, stop being nice. Sorry. You're making a That's actually very true. She's classed as a superhero, but she only kicks and punches. It's very true. Smart move, Quagmire. Like I did when I wanted to get out of that boring meeting. Third quarter projections indicate our sales will be down 40%. Why don't we go through the profit loss statement line oh. by line from the past six quarters, which will offer us a good cost analysis oh. comparison oh. that I think we'll be able to utilize as we move forward. Oh. Hey guys, I gotta leave. I got a nosebleed and uh, I don't work here. But I hate how you dress. Right, Joe? Sorry, I stay out of fashion debates. I've been burned one too many times. Hey, guys, notice anything different? Yeah, Manetti's got a hot new look. The whole thing, it just works. Manetti! I think we can really knock it out of the park. Oh, we sure can, Lois. We're going to be a great team, like Moses and his buddy who like to collect seashells. Yay! It was awful. I didn't even get to go to my high school prom, but my mom did. 
Hey, is Crystal ready? Oh, hi, Ronnie. Hey, listen, have my mom home by midnight, okay? How about I plow her in the limo and have her home in 20 minutes? Oh, come on, Ronnie. She <laughs> bought the dress. All right, we're just going to take a quick cap smear. Don't you mean pap smear? No. At this hospital, we obtain the sample using beloved British comic strip roustabout, Andy Cap. Hello, love. Let's have a smear. I'm not letting you do that. You can't even see. That's all right, bird. I goes by smell. You were right, Peter. This kid's a thief. We did it. Wow, well, look at us. You know, we make a great team, guys, like Huey Lewis and the Jews. You don't need money. I'm sorry, the bed's breaking up. All right, you know what? I know something that'll help you sleep. Wait here. Well, I hope so, because I've tried everything. Counting sheep, thinking sleepy thoughts. I even hired the Sandman. Sand and sand and sand and sand and sand and sand and good night. <laughs> you should go check it out right now. Ordinarily, I'd say no, but that adult kickball league is coming in for drinks, so let's get out of here. Guys, check it out. I've got flip-up shades on my flip-up shades. Dude, you are the worst. Hey, we're all the worst. Here we are, Christmas night, 1776. The father of our nation, George Washington, is about to boldly cross the Delaware. What's on his arms? Those are water wings. He was terrified of the water. Easy! Yeah, I've never been one to hold grudges. I even forgave the man who murdered my son. And although I will never get over the pain of what you did to my son, I forgive you because I believe you are sick and in need of help. Mr. Griffin, this is the Office of City Planning. You requested a variance to build a hot tub off your garage? Oh, yeah. Did I get it? No. I will kill your son! Your son is dead! <laughs> it was a bad idea. Like when I brought museum behavior into my home. Excuse me. We do ask that you don't touch anything. We now return to an 80s team. Oh, God. Oh, my God. Family Guy is just... It's so random. Like, honestly, it's so random. It's unbelievable. Honestly. Right, okay, well, that's the video. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed me uh, reacting to more Family Guy. Family Guy is great. Honestly, it is great. I have been think I was thinking today that I might do South Park. Because South Park has got some bad fucking dark humour stuff on there. I'm pretty sure it's worse than Family Guy. And Family Guy is quite bad. So uh, we'll probably react to uh, uh, South Park next week. Um, but yeah, I love Family Guy, man. I love it so much. Even though like some of the parts are so random, it's just funny because it's just so stupid. That that's basically what Family Guy is. It's just stupid but funny. So yeah, if you guys enjoyed, me, like and subscribe, and I'll catch you guys in this video. Bye. Oh wait, before I go, actually, uh, Dead Space is out tomorrow. Um, I think we've got like maybe three more parts, and then the game is done. So, yeah, stay tuned until then. Okay.